Hello everyone, this is Teresa Benson, Product Marketing Manager here at Red Lion Controls, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to implement an OPC UA server on your Crimson 3.1 device. On the right hand side of our screen, I have a web server from our 7 inch graphite. I've got one here on my desk. It has a few simple things. I've got a string tag that is data entry. I also have a, a grouping of floating point values, a grouping of integer values. Every time I click this green button, the top number will increment by that increment value. And then every time the counter hits three, it's going to increment by the bottom value. So let's just try that. So this should pop to 6.8. This should go to five and it does. All right, I'll go ahead and reset that just so you have a sense of what's about to happen. Now let's say I want to send those floating point and integer values and maybe even that string tag to an upstream enterprise system. With the new OPC UA server functionality in my Crimson 3.1 device, it is literally this easy. I'm going to go to Services, OPC UA Server. I'm going to choose Yes. The defaults are already fine for my application. I need to tell it what data I want to send. So I'm going to pick the integer value, that floating point value, and the string tag value. All right, and uh, just so you have a sense of what we're going to see on the client side in, in this particular uh, application, I've got uh, the zero config name set as opcuaexample.local. So I could actually go to my web browser, type this in, and see uh, my web server using that address or using the IP address that I have configured. Let's send this to my graphite. All right, uh, we can see that it is reset back to hello world. The values are zero. And if I open up my client, I'm going to add a server. Uh, I have that IP address. We can see the OPC UA example.local that I showed you in my zero config. I'm going to double click. And we get some variables. And let's look at the three tags that I sent, uh, or I said in Crimson 3.1 would be available, and they are. So let's go ahead and put these in this data access view uh, window. And a nice thing about OPCUA is not only does it send the data tag value, but it also sends information about the data tag. So here, this FP. We can see that the value is currently zero, but we can also see information about it. So in this case, it says this is a floating point value. Where that comes from in our data tag definition uh, format tab, we have the ability to type a description. If I change this and I send that down, we should see the description change on the client side as well. So let's go back over and look floating point. Um, if I come in here and look at the attributes, if I change this, that's what I typed. That's what's now there. All right, so just real quick to make sure that this connection is working, I'll change the string tag and we'll see it change on our clients. I'll increment these values and we see them change on the client as well. That's it. That's how simple it is to get started with the OPC UA server and Crimson 3.1 devices. Join us here for more tips and tricks, including how to set dead bands in future episodes.